In today's video, we are going to compare two very trendy applications of CapCut and KineMaster or KineMaster, including the price, the latest features, interfaces, and some other aspects. CapCut is around 520 megabyte, while KineMaster with its most feature is around 100. Both applications have very user-friendly interfaces, while I can say the CapCut interface is more closer to what editors normally expect from an editing application or software. When you open the CapCut application on desktop, this is the workplace you have. In this window, you can import your videos, audio files, and images. This is your player or your screen where you can play your video and check it. And at the bottom, you have your timeline. I can add my files to the timeline by holding and dragging. And if you have ever worked with the Adobe Premiere, you would know that the CapCut workplace is exactly the same as Adobe Premiere. However, KineMaster has a very unique interface. It's a circle toolbox divided into four parts. I found it very organized and categorized to use, but it can be a little bit confusing for new editors at first. Before we continue with the KineMaster workplace, I need to tell you that you cannot use KineMaster directly on your PC. Of course, you can download some emulators like BlueStacks enables you to run and play the programs on your Android. And right now, I am using the iPad version of KineMaster. Okay, as I mentioned before, KineMaster Workplace is like a circle format divided into two parts. It means that whenever you want to import media or any files, you have to click on this part, navigate your files, and then click on the check mark button. In terms of layers, you should click on this part, which you can add your files into other layers. See, my file went to the layer below, here. You can add effects to your video, text, stickers, or handwriting. And in terms of audio files, you should go to audio and among these folders, select if you need a sound effect or if you would like to select a music from the files you have imported before or music. As you see, CapCut Workplace is different from what we normally expect from editing programs and softwares. But what I do like about KineMaster is that it is easier to work with the layers. Because the programs itself categorize them in different colors, like yellow for the text, purple for audio files, and red for stickers. And you are able to see all the layers at once. But in the CapCut application, I am not able to check all the layers once together. For instance, in this project, I can check my text layer when I am in the text section, like this. I can see all the text layers. Then I can go back and check the audio file layer separately. And again, the same for my images and my video layers. In terms of price, both apps provide you with the free and premium versions with some differences in assets and price. KineMaster free version allows you to use almost all the features except some sound effects, stickers, and music. But there is a watermark in free version video but I love this view so in CapCut there is no watermark even if you are using the free version 
Both applications have the essentials like trimming, speed adjustment, stickers, and sound effects. Alright, I opened CapCut on my iPad. This time I'm using the iPad version because I wanted to show you the difference between the desktop version and the one you can use on your phone or iPad and tablet. In terms of features, CapCut has all the essentials like trimming, speed adjustment, effects, and one of the strongest feature of CapCut is its video effects and body effects. As you see, it provides you with a lot of effects and even if you are using the free version, you still have a lot of options. Okay, let's go back. CapCut also has a unique part which is retouch where you can edit your face and body. By the way guys, if you would like to learn how to work with CapCut application, I have a complete tutorial on that. About other basic features, just part where you can adjust the light and color of your video. Sharpness and other features. If you have paid attention, on this toolbar we have a lot of parts. But don't panic at all. Learning how to work with them is a piece of cake. And I believe the most significant feature about both application of KineMaster and CapCut is that they are both very easy to learn and to use. In terms of KineMaster features, as I told you, it has all the essentials like trimming, adjustments for the light and color, speed adjustment, adjusting the volume, and all other basic features that we need to edit a video. Also, by clicking on this store button, you can download more sound effects, stickers, and visual effects. Regarding the more advanced features, again, I can say both have the chroma key feature, the curve for speed adjustment, and a lot of visual effects. The only thing I can mention in that part is that maybe CapCut provides you with more AI tools, like the automatic background remover. However, to the best of my knowledge, this feature is only for the premium users in the latest update. About advanced features for CapCut, I can say that it has a lot of AI tools, and by a lot, I mean really, really a lot. And for editing your videos, one of the most useful parts is this background remover. For this video, for example, I go to remove background and then auto removal. See, it easily removed my background in no time. It has also chroma key feature, custom removal, where by brushing you can edit your removal part or erase some parts. So if you are into using AI tools, I believe that CapCut is a better option for you but you should keep in mind that most of the AI tools and more advanced features can be used in the premium version and not the free version. CapCut also has a part which is very unique in the effects, body effects, where you can have a lot of body effects option that can give your video a catchy look.
Another part you can use in your videos to level up your editing is mask. Again, in terms of masking, I can say that CapCut is stronger than KineMaster. KineMaster has the chroma key feature which is very easy to use. For instance, for this photo, I want to remove the green part. So I'll click on it, go to chroma key, enable it. And by moving these sliders, I can adjust the intensity. Another advanced feature of KineMaster is the blending part. Before I forget, I need to tell you KineMaster recently has two versions. The old one, which I was working with right now, and another one, which is the new KineMaster. The new KineMaster also has the same format and workplace. I have never worked with this new version of KineMaster, but as far as I know, this version provides you with some AI tools. These are the AI styles, but I can say CapCut has much more AI tools compared to KineMaster. And at the end of this video, I have prepared the table for you to compare some more parts briefly and for you to understand the differences vividly. I hope after watching this video, you have understood which application suits you the best. See ya!